Hi everyone, I hope you're enjoying your summer. It's been a very busy one for me as we prepare to launch our new show this September. Meanwhile, I've been thinking about all the topics I want to explore. Some of them are serious, some are fun, but I hope they'll all be useful. For example, at this time of year as we take our summer vacations, a lot of us may be staying as guests with family and friends. There's an old saying, house guests are like fish. After three days, they start to stink. So I asked Philip Galanis of the New York Times how we can all avoid being bad house guests. Well, my dad used to say the way to be the best house guest is to stay home. But I actually <laughs> think he was taking it a little too far. And I think that if you, as you say, if you jump into the family or the household as much as you can, and really show that you're an enthusiastic participant of what's going on, I think you can make yourself pretty, um, pretty much a valuable asset. If people are cooking, chop an onion. If they're, you know, going out to grocery shop, offer to kick in some money. So really be a participant and yeah. don't just say, is there anything I can do, do it, right? When they ask that, you're, if you're the host, you say, oh no, don't worry about it. Yeah. But if they just jump in there and start doing the dishes, you're secretly really grateful. Not even secretly, yeah, yeah. good, that's a good one. So obviously it's a good idea to pitch in and help out your host. Philip also said a handwritten note or something that can be shared like wine or fruit is the perfect way to say thank you at the end of your stay. Now, before I overstay my welcome, I'll say goodbye for now and I'll see you next week. Meanwhile, be sure to catch the debut of my new show, Katie, starting September 10th.